We only had a couple more weeks in Aruba, and so for today's episode, we're going to take a hike, explore some bat caves, we go. check out some gnarly cliffs and big waves on the windward side of the island, and get ready for New Year's Eve fireworks, which we are told are incredible. So come follow along and let's get after it. So here we are at the Kwadirikiri Cave. Here are the long list of rules. It doesn't say you can't hotbox the cave though. <laughs> so, since they put literally every rule on this sign, that must mean that hotboxing is okay. Yeah, some Caribbean snow in there. Oh, this is freaky. Oh, yeah, I just saw one fly by. Years. What is that? I don't know. Could be a stalag mites or tights. Mm -hmm. That broke off. It's just that the pattern looks uh, too uh, symmetrical. Mm -hmm. Could be a fossil. <laughs> So I don't know which one is a stalagmite and which is a stalactite. But see right here. Oh, there goes the drip right there. Little drips forming on this. And if you look below, it's building up. And it's got this trippy blue color. I don't know what makes that. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It's very fun. Oh, I'm crawling through the caves. Are we splunking? Or, or rock climbing in general in a cave? We're not climbing. We're rock walking. Just like that. We're back out. Super cool. Territory. The little ones you don't feel, but the big ones you feel. I bet and you. Now I've got a little one there. Oh, I can feel that ocean spray. Yeah. Hit with ocean spray. It's coming from over that cliff. Very windy day, 20 knots of wind. And this is hundreds of kilometers of open ocean here for the waves to get nice and big before they hit the shore. Probably a nasty current in there too. 
You're feeling it, and the rock is worn away from all the salt water, I guess. Ooh, that's a big one. Oh yeah, that's misty. Ooh, that's not what you want. Oh. Yeah, I get enough salt water. I've had enough salt water in my daily, my daily diet. So much worse up here. Ducking down. <laughs> oh, there's fossils in this rock. Coral that fossils. Towers behind the rock. The Renaissance Hotel, our water taxi has arrived. Ready, boys? Let's yes. roll. Should come closer. <laughs> oh! no. This is the bad guy. <laughs> really? I just took a siesta and it is New Year's Eve and it's about to be sunset so I better go and join everyone else and Ricardo made me a margarita so. mm. so good So behind the boat is Renaissance Hotel and this is called Renaissance Marina but it's also called Wind Creek Marina and I think there's going to be a lot of fireworks tonight. Off he goes. I'm wild.
As the clock approached 12 and fireworks began to erupt all around, I found myself quickly overcome with emotion. In these moments, you can't see me crying tears of joy behind the camera as I struggled to keep anyone from noticing. I'm not a religious man and I'm not sure that I believe in fate or destiny, but in that moment, I felt like these fireworks were a sign for me to mark a very significant milestone of my first New Year's Eve on this adventure. They were saying to me, good job, you did it. Look at how far you've come. Can you believe that less than a year ago, you quit your job, bought a boat, and embarked on the most incredible adventure of your life? An adventure that's just getting started? You did it because you believed in yourself and you made your dream come true. The fireworks were so close, closer than I'd ever been to big ones like this. I could feel the shells exploding overhead, like being in a war zone, the war for meaning and purpose in my life. The sound waves rippling through my chest and my pounding heart, bouncing off the nearby buildings and hitting me again. This was for me. This was for my crew. This was for Stardate and all our future travels and trials together. That year we had sailed 1,251 nautical miles together and traveled to six countries. And 2022 is shaping up to be even bigger with transiting the Panama Canal and crossing the Pacific Ocean in my sights. And although the episode isn't quite done yet, I just wanna say from the bottom of my heart, thanks so much for following along. I hope you'll stay with us as we boldly go where we've never gone before. Off. It's like getting the fireworks twice. Yeah, very cool. 